This is Oculus Quest, the groundbreaking all-in-one headset that brought VR into the homes of so many people. And it just got even better. Meet Quest 2. The powerful next step in our VR evolution. Quest 2 has everything you loved about Quest, plus a whole lot more. It's been streamlined and it looks great. But more importantly, it's smaller and lighter for increased comfort. And the new soft touch strap makes putting it on a cinch. Even the controller's got an upgrade for improved ergonomics. But the real exciting stuff is under the hood. The new display has over 50% more pixels than Quest. It's the highest resolution headset we've ever made. A blazing fast Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 platform means that experiences are smoother and faster than ever. And six gigabytes of RAM means that developers can bring deeper, more immersive stories to life. To make sure you have enough space for the latest games, Quest 2 is available with an optional 256 gigabytes of built-in storage. All this with just a headset. No annoying cables or sensors to hang on the walls. This is all-in-one VR. However, there is one cable that can expand your Oculus library. The Oculus Link. It connects your Quest 2 with a VR-ready PC, unlocking hundreds of experiences from the Rift catalog. So you can play titles like Stormland, Asgard's Wrath, and Dead and Buried 2. And that's Quest 2. Now the only thing left is for you to try. See you in VR. Ever wonder how people keep from running into their furniture while playing VR? Oh, whoa. Well, you've come to the right place. Before you get started with the Oculus headset, be sure to read through the manual and the Oculus Safety Center resources online. We've developed a holistic set of guidelines to help Oculus users stay safe. There are two big rules. Only use the headset indoors, and users should be at least 13 years old. Sorry, little ones. The first step is clearing a play area. We recommend a six and a half foot by six and a half foot area or larger. There are also stationary or seated experiences. Ceiling fans in VR are not the best combination. Make sure you check that the area above you is clear too. Properly fit the headset. Loosen the sides, then the top. Put it on starting from the back and tighten the straps. Now you'll set up your play area using Guardian, which warns you when you're close to the edge of your play area. And then it's time to pick appropriate content. Some titles are definitely intense, so we recommend starting with something comfortable. Your Oculus headset needs a little care to deliver the best experiences. Once you're done, be sure to sanitize any surface you come in contact with, carefully avoiding liquids on the lenses or displays. And only use microfiber cloths that are safe for the lenses. Other materials may scratch the glass. Last but not least, make sure you store it in the case or somewhere safely away from sunlight and all those dangerous household hazards like dogs, small children, clumsy roommates with liquids, or those scary zombies from the zombie game you shouldn't have played late last night. Anyone out there? That's all there is to it. I'll see you safely in VR. If you think about it, hands make a great VR controller. We already know how to use them. They never need to be charged. <laughs> They're really hard to lose. And well, they're already paired. Oculus hand tracking technology brings next level immersion to supported VR experiences. Seeing a digital version of your hands in the headset is really cool. There are games like The Curious Tale of Stolen Pets, Waltz of the Wizard, and Elixir. And the list of compatible apps is always growing. Just look in the details section of your favorite apps to see if hand tracking is supported. Our team used deep learning to teach a computer what a hand looked like, what its key points were, and what it looked like when it did things like pinched or poked or made a fist. The four sensors built into the headset do an incredible job capturing your fingers as they move. The results? Phenomenally expressive movements and high fidelity gestures. <laughs> Whoa! Activating it is just a couple of steps in the settings menu. You can switch back and forth with a click. Hand tracking is an evolving technology. 
So who knows what our developer community will come up with in the future? And for our developers out there, all the SDKs and APIs for you to make this happen in your own creations are available at developer.oculus.com. It's a great way to make VR even easier for people to enjoy. So the next time you play, go ahead and give hand tracking a try. See you in VR. This video is gonna show you how you can bring spectators in on the action in seconds. It's called casting, and it lets you take what you're seeing on your headset and put it on a phone or a compatible TV. And it's easy, like two buttons and you're done easy. All you need is your headset, the Oculus app on a mobile phone, and for the best experience, a TV equipped with a compatible casting device. Yours might have one already built in. First step is to make sure your Oculus app is ready. So make sure you have your headset and your mobile phone on the same wireless network. And there are two ways to begin casting, from the headset or from the app. Let's see how to do it from the player's perspective. From the home menu, click sharing, select casting, and then choose where you want to send your footage, to a phone or a TV. From the Oculus app, simply click the casting button in the top right corner, and choose your destination. Then you'll get a confirmation message in your headset. You ready? Yeah. Check this out. Yeah! Oh, hold up, hold up, quarter shot. Watch me spike it. And that's it. You just made virtual reality social. See you in VR. VR vet or a total newbie, let me introduce you to your next headset, Oculus Quest 2. Quest 2 is our most advanced all-in-one VR system yet. Setup is easy, and in no time, you'll be immersed in an expansive library of amazing games and experiences. Operation is good. If you're new to VR, this is a great time and a great device to get started on. Welcome to the club. It's streamlined, light, and the new soft touch strap is easier than ever to slip on and off. There's six gigabytes of RAM and a new blazing fast Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 platform. And all this power and speed is going to an almost 4K display. That's more pixels to experience the wonders of the world in all their breathtaking glory and make the stars of the curious tale of the stolen pets cuter and fluffier than anything digital ought to be. And since games get bigger as they get better, you can get Quest 2 with 256 gigabytes of storage built in. 3D positional audio adds another layer of realism, adapting as you move. And the controllers are our best yet. Updated with new ergonomics for an even more comfortable experience. And for the ultimate in immersion, some experiences even allow you to ditch the controllers and use your hands instead. So cool. Experiences go, the library is massive and growing every day. Some of my favorites are Beat Saber, Phantom Covert Ops, Vader Immortal, and Arizona Sunshine. All the Quest titles work on Quest 2, and gaming is just the beginning. There's literally something for everyone. Immersive 360 videos, Netflix, live theater, 3D art pieces, concerts. And it's VR that's ready when you are. No PC or console needed. Once you set up with the Oculus smartphone app, you'll have everything you need to explore virtual worlds with just a headset and controllers. And no matter where you end up traveling, <laughs> Guardian helps keep you safe so that you don't bump into any furniture. Now I gotta get back to finding those pets. See you in VR.